Bonjour tout le monde. I have always liked going grocery shopping and even after 10 years in France, I still get excited to go to the French grocery store. I always find products that are new to me. It never gets old, but there was a bit of a learning curve when I first arrived in France. French and American grocery stores, they look similar enough, but they aren't the same. So whether you're just curious or you want to be more prepared for your next trip, this video is for you. We're going to get right into seven little differences between French and American grocery stores. All right, let's start. Number one, the hours. Now, French grocery stores tend to have shorter business hours than their US counterparts, and that's the case for many stores in France. You're gonna notice that this is especially true in smaller towns where some stores close for lunch between 12 and two. My local store here in the Maine et Loire department, it opens at 8.30 a.m. and I believe closes at 7.30 p.m. and it's only open until around noon or maybe one on Sundays. Now, even stores in suburbs in the U.S. tend to have longer hours, with some being open until 10 p.m. or even later. So when you're in France, be sure to note your local store's hours so you don't show up to a dark store with the volets, the shutters pulled down. I'm speaking from personal experience here. It's just something to get used to. Shorter store hours. Okay, number two, bring your own bags and then be ready to bag the groceries yourself. So when you're grocery shopping in France, bring your own reusable shopping bags, the can canvas ones, whatever ones you have. Most stores do have bags for sale at the register if you forget yours, but it's a good habit to get into when you go grocery shopping to bring your own bags because they're not going to give you, in most cases, uh, plastic bags for free, and it's just better for the environment to bring your own. And unlike Publix in the U.S. where someone helps you bag your groceries and even offers to bring them out to your car for you, you're not going to find that in France. And in addition to reusable bags, many people opt for a shopping cart or a shopping trolley. I think that's what they call it in the UK, on wheels. They look like this, and they're even better than bags in some cases, like when you have a long walk home, and you don't want the bags to dig into your hands um, if you have really heavy ones. I personally love my shopping cart on wheels in French that's called Un Caddy. This is not sponsored, but Rolser is my favorite brand for the style of cart. Um, I'll link that below if you need one. And they come in a bunch of colors and patterns, so if you walk to the supermarket or farmer's market like I do most of the time, Having a keggy is a must. Even though I have to admit, uh, back when I lived in New York City, it was something that really only senior citizens use, so I wasn't really used to using one, but they are mainstream in France. They're used by people of all ages to cart their groceries home, so get one. All right, number three, you can open a six pack of soda or water and just take one bottle out of it. And this was something I didn't catch on to for a few years after moving to France. I'd see, you know, a six pack of soda, milk, water, that sort of thing. And the plastic would be ripped open with maybe a bottle or two missing. Now in the US, generally a six pack is meant to be sold as a six pack and not for individual sale. They even have that uh, written on the packaging, not for individual sale. But in France, if you just want one bottle of milk or soda, whatever, ripping into that plastic of a six pack, um, it's fair game. It's totally normal. You'll see it all over. So, you know, just get in there, <laughs> grab your bottle, no big deal. And I really thought people were breaking the rules when I first got here, since generally this is not done in the US, but no, that is not the case. In France, you open up that pack of soda, milk, water, and you could just grab one without getting any dirty looks. You're not breaking the rules. All right, number four. In French supermarkets, there is no medication aisle. So here you won't find over-the-counter medications for sale like you will in the US. So things like pain relievers, <laughs> diarrhea medication, um, something for indigestion and all that, it's only available at the French pharmacy. So what I mean is that all of these over-the-counter medicines are for sale in a separate store, not the pharmacy department of a supermarket. And as a whole, I would say in-store pharmacies don't really exist here, or at least not the same scale that you'd see in the US. You know, sometimes French supermarkets will have a shopping center, and in that shopping center, there will be a privately owned pharmacy there. But in-store pharmacies aren't really the norm. You're not gonna find these over-the-counter meds in a supermarket. And this took me a little while to get used to, because, I mean, let's just be honest, it's not always convenient to have to go to a separate store for allergy medication when you're already in the supermarket. You know, you're not feeling well, there's gonna be a line at the pharmacy. And for the record, pharmacies here in France, they are fantastic. And I've done several videos, including a behind the scenes video that you might like. So check that out for more French pharmacy culture and knowledge. But 
The one thing I will never get used to here in France is actually having to ask the pharmacist for what you need, or if you don't know, you have to describe your symptoms. And when it's a more, let's say, <laughs> delicate issue, such as explosive diarrhea, you know, voices carry. And I feel like the line behind me always hears, but you know, that's just how it's done here. So we'll get used to it. But um, I really do wish French pharmacies had self checkout so you can just discreetly grab what you need off the shelf without making eye contact with anyone um, and having to explain things. That hasn't happened yet, but we can hope, right? <laughs> Let's move on to number five. Milk and eggs are at room temperature on the shelf, not in the refrigerated section. And this is one of the things when I first came to France as a tourist, I couldn't find the eggs and then I realized, hmm, they are on a shelf at room temperature. Now in the US, all eggs and milk for the most part, except Parmalat, um, which I don't really think anyone drinks, they're refrigerated. You know, all commercially produced eggs need to be refrigerated to prevent condensation from forming on the shell. That moisture, it actually allows bacteria, I believe, to get into the egg and it can make us sick. So in France, the eggs retain that protective coating that prevents this from happening just due to a difference in the way they're processed in France. Now, French people do sometimes refrigerate their eggs, but not out of necessity like we do in the US. Uh, they'll refrigerate them to extend the shelf life or to free up counter space. Now, milk, on the other hand, once it's open, yes, you need to refrigerate that, but in the store, you'll find UHT milk. It's ultra high temperature. It's processed differently. And you'll find that usually near the eggs in packs of six that, like I said, you can rip open and take one. Okay, so something I always point out is that in France, uh, most of the milk and eggs, they are on the regular room temperature shelf. They're all shelf stable. And you will find skim milk with the green cap right here. That's écrémé. You will find uh, whole milk with the red top. That's entier. And then you're going to find with the blue top. Uh, let me find you some blue top. We have the lait demi écrémé, which is... Um, which is 2%. Now, in many grocery stores, you will sometimes find a small selection of fresh milk, the refrigerated stuff near the yogurt, but it's usually just one kind of milk or just whole milk and 2%, you're not gonna find skim. And on the topic of milk, I have found in recent years, the selection of nut milks for vegetarians, it has expanded, they do exist, but you're not gonna find 10 brands of almond, rice, uh, oat milk, and other specialty milks like you will stateside, and they're not gonna be in the refrigerated section generally. And sometimes people ask me if France has non-dairy milk selections, and uh, yeah, they do. Even in, you know, non mono pre grocery stores, you will find different types of, you know, organic soy milk. Uh, we also have an almond milk option here, so if you're vegan, vegetarian, or just prefer to have nut based milk, France has you covered. Uh, looks like there's a rice milk here, the riz. Then we have a coconut milk as well. And then as we get down here, there's different types of other milks. All right, number six, carts are locked with a token or a coin. Now I've seen this in Aldi in the US, but aside from Aldi, I feel like carts tend to be pushed together in the US, but not locked. Now in France, the metal shopping carts, you know, uh, that you pick up in the parking lot or in a row somewhere, they're almost always locked by a little chain that connects them. And to get your cart out, you either use a one euro coin or a token. In French, that's called un jeton. And that's the same size as the one euro coins. So yeah, you get this token or your coin back when you park the cart back in its spot. There's a part you insert that'll pop out the token. And I find this really cuts down on carts being left haphazardly out in the parking lot. And come to think of it, here in France, I've never really seen, you know, rogue shopping carts denting cars on windy days because people, you know, they want their euro back or they want their, their token back and act accordingly. They park their cart, push in the little, uh, the little piece and they get their token back. So there's no need for an employee to go around rounding up carts that people left in the parking lot. So for those of you in the US, since I'm kind of out of touch, have supermarkets implemented the token or coin system other than Aldi in the past couple of years? I know it can be regional, so let me know down below. Moving right along, let's head into number seven, colorful, scented, toilet paper. Yes, we're going there. And yes, we have a magic land of scented toilet paper in France. Now, the majority is white, but in addition to the regular stuff, you'll often find a bunch of fun pastel colored options that are sometimes scented. So think of things like peach, aloe vera, marine breeze. You know, my thing is white. I don't really go with the scented stuff, but some people like the scented colorful option. I haven't really figured out if the scent is supposed to be for the bathroom itself, like an air freshener, 
or if it's supposed to freshen up the person using the toilet paper, but in any case, the options are there if you want colored or scented toilet paper. For more differences between grocery stores in France and the US, head over to my blog post, linked below, I have a whole bunch more, and if you want to be prepared for your trip to France, I have an ebook linked below as well titled 75 Beginner France Tips for a Standout Trip. I cover tips on the language, culture, all kinds of practical things when you visit France. And with that, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you back on We in France soon. Salut!